So here I am in the last video of the series. Uh, I hope you've made it this far to the toe. I haven't done an actual video tutorial on the toe because it is simple double crochet decreases. Uh, UK terms there. You start off just by working a decrease this round here, a decrease into every ex um, extended double crochet. And then depending on your size, there's a setup round just to make all the sizes a multiple of six. And then you're just doing what it says to do in the brackets the number of times it says to do it until you end up with something looking like this. And in this last video, I just want to show you how to deal with these ends. So I've cut, I don't know, 15, 20 centimetres of yarn, a generous amount, and I just pop one hand inside. You can see I haven't dealt with the other tail yet. <laughs> one hand inside. I grab my needle and all I've done is I've pulled the yarn right through that final stitch. Let it focus. There we go. Right. So this is the one just worked here. So we're just going to go through and I tend to just do the front loop only, but you can go right through the entire stitch if you like. That one. Miss the next one. Through that one. Miss the next one through this one and there. That should do you. Pull tight and then just go through the centre, right through the sock, like that. Come on, focus. It's focusing on my fingernail. There. <laughs> Come on, camera. What is up with you this morning? Come down a bit. There we go. <laughs> so that is a lovely neat finish. Okay. And then you can just carefully turn the whole thing the right way around again. Come to the outside and just work. Pull it tight in case it's undone itself a wee bit there. Just do a couple of stitches. One on top of the other two will be enough because this is where your toe is. So, and just go through, catch through the yarn like that. This is where your toe is, so it will felt really easily. Um, and you don't need to worry about that coming undone. And then I just work through a few ends like this. And then I'll come back over this way. Not going all the way through, just kind of catching a little bit of yarn each time like that. I'll probably do that another twice. Over this way. Catch that one there. Oh, come on. And there. And a little bit there. Over here. And then once more. And this will just as you wear the socks or whoever you're gifting them to, as they wear them, this will just um, fuzz itself up and felt because that's where the toe is and it'll get a lot of wear. And then you want to cut your tail, leaving a generous amount. Don't cut it too close because that might all unravel. Cut it about here. Okay, you're not going to feel that at all. And that will just then start to free and really hold itself. And that's how I finish the toe on these Lazy Days socks and also on my Mavis mitts. I'm pretty sure my bandwagon mitts are the same. Um, all my cuff down socks are finished like that. So I hope that helps you. And the link to the Lazy Days socks is in the description below if you want to check that out.